I feel very strongly about brand burnout. And it's funny because when I say brand burnout, oftentimes people think that I'm talking about the brand being burnt out because that's the easy answer. Is my brand burnt out is a much easier question to answer. Is it outdated? Is it not reaching the right people? Very easy questions to answer. The harder question to answer for a lot of reasons is, am I burnt out inside of my brand? Because the reality is, yes, things get dated, but brands, brands don't burn out. Logos get stale, um, but a logo isn't a brand. A brand is a purpose. Your brand is your purpose. It's your passion. It's your drive to build what you're building. Your brand isn't the stuff on the surface of your business. It's not your website. It's not this, that, the other. It is why you do what you do. It is the stuff that you bring to the table that nobody else can bring. It is your reason for starting a small business because this is not easy. Nobody chooses this because it's easy. Maybe we do. Maybe we think we do. Um, but the reality is we're all just crazy and we, I think, know more about how hard, of, how hard this is going to be before we get into it. Um, anyway, brands don't burn out. People do. People do. And what brand burnout means and how it happens is if your brand, your external brand and what you're doing and what you're building has been headed in a direction for so long that does not fit with what you want. Because how are you supposed to feel passionate and excited about a thing that you don't even really want? Think about it. What decisions do you make in your business, in your brand, based on joy, based on excitement and happiness? And how many of them do you make based on fear? And this feeling like I have to do it this way or maybe it won't work. Or this feeling of this is what other people do, so I'm not going to dig too deep. I'm just going to do what everybody else is doing and obviously I'll succeed that way doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You will succeed when you pay attention to what is happening inside of you. Success in your brand, growth in your brand happens when you have enough energy and joy and passion to show up in that brand. And if you're along this path that isn't based in joy and isn't based in this we as entrepreneurs, we have this, this crazy well of energy. I don't know about you, but for me, if I'm excited about something, if I am in my business, I could stay up for three days straight. I could just work on it. I'm going to crash afterwards, but I'm going to wake up after crashing ready to get back into it because it's fun. It's fun and it's, it's I don't know, passion builds more passion. And when we're doing things because we feel like we should or we have to, or there isn't another option, that's, that's not joy, that's not passion filled, that's, that's a to-do list. I don't get excited about to-do lists. I don't wake up in the morning feeling excited to, to cross things off the list that are there because they just have to be. It's like taking out the the garbage. I, I get excited about building things that have never existed before. I get excited about building something in the world that can only come from me. So if I'm following somebody else's path, if I'm making decisions based on what somebody else does and decides, I might as well be taking out the garbage. That's just a to-do list. <laughs>